Hello, Reality. Good morning, and welcome to our touch points today. Once again, my name is God Gift Austin, your regular host and anchor to this ministry. Like we used to do to pick our topics, we deliberate on them scripturally to find out the mind of God in those areas of concern raised and will respond accordingly. In so doing, those questions have lingered over the years in our heart and sometimes seem to have defied answers have been tackled. I have no doubt the Lord has taken care of your own concerns here. You just have to join us through our various social media handles and watch the videos uploaded over 600 of them. Before you finish, then you must have discovered how much the Lord has dealt with your issue. We urge you to use the comment sections for your testimonies and also help us share these messages. Let them go viral. The light has no need under the pressure. Let's pray, Father, we bless you because of your faithfulness over our lives. We thank you for various impartations. We ask, O oh Lord, that you bring us closer through your word this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Beloved, we are talking about adaptability, I mean assertiveness. Our topic is assertiveness. Now, our question now is, what are the consequences for failing to be assertive? And then, no consequences for failing to be assertive. Let's look at Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 16 to 21. Whenever you receive a message from me, warn people immediately. If I warn the wicked, saying you are under the penalty of death, but you fail to deliver the warning, they will die in their sins, and I will hold you responsible. For, but if you warn righteous people not to sin, and they listen to you and do not sin, they will live and you will have saved yourself too. Praise God. Amen. So most of us don't have the level of spiritual responsibility God assigned to Ezekiel, but we are all called to uphold biblical standards and to help others to do so too. We must have the courage to tell people the bad news so that they can respond to good news of God's grace. Praise God. So what now are the promises of God from all these things that we'll be talking about after um, uh, assertiveness? Luke chapter 11 verse 9. And so I tell you, keep on asking and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be opened to you. In 1 John 2 verse 20, the Bible said, And now, dear children, remain in fellowship with Christ, so that when he returns, you will be full of courage and not shrink back from him in shame. Praise God. So, the next lesson we are going to be talking about is going to be assumptions. Assumptions. Now, friends, I want us to take a break here and breathe or brood over the things that we've been hearing so far about assertiveness. Because assertiveness we has been concluded today on this uh, 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 note, and we are going to be kicking off with assumptions. So I want us to take time to brood over these things, like I said, and you know you're not born again. Quickly confess Christ now as your Lord and Savior. Say, Lord Jesus, I surrender myself to you this morning. Save my soul from eternal hell and damnation. I want to live and reign with you in eternity. Breathe upon me the breath of life. Write my name in the book of life. Delete it from the book of death. Thank you for saving my soul. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ah, if you have prayed this prayer this morning, congratulations. And I, um, I urge you to continue to fellowship with us. The Lord has prepared these materials to help you grow in the knowledge of Him. And you will never get it wrong doing it the right way. God bless you and uphold you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.